dear students now we are going to see another problem for projection of planes in this problem they are given 5 cm that is nothing but 50 mm diameter plane and it has been vertical and inclined 30 degree to vp here they are told that the center has been 30 mm above hp and 2 cm that is 20 mm in front of vp see in this problem your front view will be giving your true shape of your circle and your top view will be getting only a line I have to incline this line to 30 degree at last I will be getting your final shape first I have to draw a circle of 25 mm radius or 50 mm diameter and the center should be 30 mm above HP so what I am going to do is first I have to draw your XY line and I have to mark it as XY VP HP which you have been already familiar which I have done on your previous problem I just click your line command I just made a point over here and I went at your dimension as 30, 3, 0 because it has been 30 mm above HP. Okay. Next, I just clicked your circle command and I just clicked your center point. It has been asking radius, so I am giving 25, enter. Okay. Then, I have to divide your circle into 8 equal parts. It will be easy for me while projecting. So, I use your line command for dividing it to 8 equal parts. I just first drawn a horizontal line. Similarly, I drawn a vertical line. Okay. Next, select these two lines. Make a copy with center point as your base point and move it outside. Press escape. Then once again, select your lines. Rotate with this as your base point and enter it as angle as 45 degree. Okay. Select your lines move your center point and just place it over here now i have divided your circle into eight equal parts okay next i have to dark your circle i have just uh, increasing your line thickness as 0.35 next i have to mark your alphabets since it is your front view i will be getting on your dash i just made a click over here and i have just entered a dash okay select it and make it as bold close text editor select this word click your move and place it over here clear then once again make a click over here make a copy to your base point just place it everywhere so this will be your b point c point d point e point f point G point your last H point ok so I have to just double click it and I have to edit it so it will be easy for us your B this will be your C D E F G attached your H ok next your top view has been 2 cm that is 20 mm in front of VP so if I have just make a projection for 20 mm ok escape so I have to project your line students so I have to just zoom your window zoom enter so i just zoomed your window students i just clicked your line over here with your reference i am just projecting it click your line ok your next point
your last line okay next i have to draw it on a horizontal line students see what i am going to do see students on your previous problem we have a line is been on your xy line if your line is been not on your xy line just make an extension it will be needed to tilt on your rotation base so i just selected it and i joined it once again students if your line your plane line is been on xy line draw as per your dimensions if it is not on your xy line just draw a little bit projection line which is needed when you do for your inclination okay next select this line and your change your line thickness as 0.35 okay your next i have to mark your alphabets so when i view from this direction top direction your a h g f e will be visible whereas your b c d dash will not be visible so once again click your text over here it will be your a make it as bold close editor i have to just make a copy only i just selected your text and i just moved it with your base point i placed it over here okay just make a copy paste it at last we can edit it so just double click it it will be your h on your bracket it will be b it will be your g on your bracket it will be c g on your bracket it will be c similarly over here it will be f on your bracket it will be d see students whenever you use your rotation it will be taking from this line to anti clockwise direction so we need your rotation of 30 degree from your bottom direction so what i have to do is i have to just select this entire lines alphabets everything first make a copy i've just made it okay then select everything so see students if you have been drawing anything above your x y line you can directly use your angle okay if it has been 30 you can just click your rotate and give your angle as 30 if it has been below your x y line what you are going to do is you are going to just get your angle if it has been 30 degree rotation just take it as 360 minus 30 it will be 330 i have just clicked your rotate over here this is my base point i have given my angle as 330 so now it has been rotated next click this line and use your extend command ex okay and you just select this line extend ex so it will be extended okay now i have to mark your dimension students so first what and all i have to mark your diameter of your circle just click your diameter over here just click it over here you will be getting your diameter as 50 next we are going to get your linear dimension from here to this point it has been just select your proper points it has been 30 similarly over here no need for this line we have just made it projection so i have just deleted it so get your linear 20 and at last your angle so it has been 30 degree okay now i have to do my projection students so first i have to switch on your ortho click your line first point i have just projected it then i have got my second point students then i need my third point okay next your fourth point
then your last point so i am going to just extend from your horizontal direction also so for that first i will be zooming your your small area zoom window i need only this area so i have zoomed it just click your line see these two lines have been not projected so i have to say extend command ex enter i just selected it to extend it okay similarly from this point i have extended it your next your next point your last c point okay so on intersection i am going to join with your spline command just click over here you know draw you will be getting your spline okay otherwise you can type it on a command bar s p l i n e okay enter select your first point second point third point fourth point fifth point sixth point seventh point and your eighth point once again your last point and just press enter so at last i got my circle so i just selected it and i'll be increasing your line thickness as 0.35 this is my final okay now i have to mark your alphabet sir just uh, i am making a copy of this and i have just placed it over here okay similarly over here okay i have to edit it this will be a a1 this will be a b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 g1 your last h1 okay if you are getting anything inside your diagram you have to just move it see over here this b1 i have just clicked your move i just placed it somewhere okay similarly this g1 just click your move similarly this h1 click your move okay so at last we complete the diagram and we mark your dimensions okay we can see you in your upcoming lectures thank you all